Not just you, even some fitness freak footballers fall into the trap of fast food pretty often. They love it. Others choose fish, salads, and high-protein foods when they dine out. However, now and then some footballers indulge themselves in fast food on a cheat day. Quite unbelievable, right? But who doesn't love to break the routine? After all, they are human too. So want to know which of them are the biggest junk food lovers? You might find your favorite one too. In this video, we will talk about these seven footballers who love fast food. Hello everyone and welcome to Football Players. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update on Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, Neymar, or anything about the best players in the world and history. Having said that, let's get into the video. Starting with number 7, Kevin De Bruyne. After his recent another fantastic performance in Pep Guardiola's team against Aston Villa, you might argue Man City's Belgium star earned his fast food fix. He took his wife and kids to McDonald's after the last whistle, chronicling his journey on TikTok. He seems to pick up a pair of Happy Meals in the footage. There is no proof that he stole a few chips from them. Next, moving on to number 6, Eden Hazard. Consider the ex-Chelsea playmaker Eden Hazard, another Belgian great. He is often mocked for his weight at Real Madrid, admitting that he enjoys the occasional bun. But after being substituted off by his team during a game against Turkey in 2011, he stormed out of the stadium and was afterward seen eating a burger. The horrific images were widely circulated in Belgian tabloids, prompting manager George Leakins to impose a two-game suspension for the star's lack of professionalism. Number 5. David Beckham David Beckham may have retired in 2013, but he shows no signs of slowing down and remains slim. Given his fondness for fish and chips, this is very remarkable. He once shared a platter of food with a saveloy, fish, and chips, as well as a loaf of bread and a large bottle of ketchup while watching a Champions League match. Of course, the curry sauce could not get overlooked. Moving on to the next, number 4, Cristiano Ronaldo. CR7 likes eating pizza. Don't believe me? His mother will vouch for this. Dolores Aviro stated on Portuguese television last year, My son likes pizza as well. He eats one once a week, but he follows it up with a lot of sit-ups. Ronaldo had previously stated that he enjoys eating pizza with his son, Cristiano Jr. He asserted that it only occurred sometimes and not to make life monotonous. Ronaldo's rigorous diet has influenced the diets of his new teammates, with Lee Grant recently admitting that sweets are no longer on the menu at Carrington. However, Ronaldo's countryman, Fonte, has debunked the misconception that the striker abstains completely from junk food, stating that the former Juventus star has days when he eats anything he wants. When asked if Ronaldo's stringent program inspires his teammates, 100%, the Lily defender said. We always keep an eye on what he's eating and doing. He also stated, you know he's the best and you want to do whatever he does because he must be doing something right. Obviously, he eats nice and clean on the whole, wonderful quinoa and all those good things. He eats a lot of eggs, sweet potatoes and broccoli. But like everyone else, Ronaldo has his vices and has junk food days. Fonte claims that when on overseas duty, the forward invariably orders bacalao, a classic Portuguese dish consisting of dried and salted codfish garnished with potatoes, onions, hard-boiled eggs, olives and olive oil. After games, he supposedly enjoys steak and fries and fried eggs. The center defense explained why Ronaldo succumbs to temptation when on international duty, describing the Portuguese national team's food as amazing. Be cautious when you travel to the national team because you'll be fatter when you go back, he joked. Ronaldo re-signed for United in August and has already made an impact on the team, scoring five goals for United this season. But the man who is so conscientious about maintaining himself in peak shape is already having an impact on his behavior off the field. United goalkeeper Grant said in September that no United players went up for dessert after dinner on the Friday night before Ronaldo's debut against Newcastle United, adding that this was due to the Portugal international's influence. To give you one example of the influence he is having on the group right now, he told TalkSport, in the motel it was Friday night. So as you're probably aware, you complete your supper and normally have some cheat food out on Friday night. You've got an apple crumble with custard or a brownie and cream or anything like that. According to him, no one touched the apple crumble and custard and no one went up for the brownie since everyone was seated. What has Cristiano got on his plate? It was certainly the cleanest, healthiest dish you could imagine. Gran said, It amused me that not a single player dared to stand up and eat the junk food that had been placed out quinoa, avocado, and a handful of cooked eggs were among them. Well, Ronaldo now has the club's second-best body after Grant, as he claimed. Even after eating that much junk food, it means a lot, so congratulations to him. Despite his age, Ronaldo is still among football's finest, and his continued success at the highest level is due to a disciplined diet and training regimen. To fulfill the high nutritional demands of being a great player and sustain the rapid metabolism sportsmen have, 
Ronaldo eats little and often, six meals a day spaced out at three to four hour intervals. Ronaldo's diet helps him to have explosive muscles and a low body fat percentage. He has a personal nutritionist who has been with him since his days at Real Madrid. He consumes whole cereals, fresh fruit, and seafood like swordfish, sea bass, sea bream, and cod, which include lean proteins. They are never frozen and are always fresh. Ronaldo's plate is constantly piled high with lettuce, and for breakfast, he eats cheese, ham, low-fat yogurt, fruit, and avocado toast. Chicken is one of his magical meals, as it is high in protein and low in fat. I suggest anyone say no if Cristiano asks you to his house because a lad is a machine and he never stops working, remarked Patrice Evra, his Manchester United teammate. I went there and was exhausted from training, but there was a salad and chicken breast on the table, as well as only water and no beverages. Away from the game, Ronaldo is focused and attentive to every detail of his life. All fizzy drinks have been eliminated from his diet, and he avoids red meat and frozen meals. Ronaldo's meticulous attention to nutrition stands in stark contrast to the eating habits of some of United's previous greats. Roy Keane, United's legendary former captain, has admitted to eating a donor kebab three hours before a game. The Irishman confessed, I played a cup game at home three hours before Crystal Palace and had a kebab. From the chipper, a donor kebab three hours before the match. You can get away with it when you're younger, but you'll pay the price afterward. To be fair, I was living alone and didn't have any food in the house. Well, enough of Ronaldo. Next, in number three, we have Bait Borisov. Bait Borisov of Belarus has won 15 league titles in his nation, including 13 in a row. They've also qualified for the Champions League group stages five times and the Europa League four times. How did they manage it? By slipping a Burger King lunch into their European vacation. Now it's time for number two, Alex Song. Before playing at the Emirates, the former Arsenal and Barcelona midfielder had a KFC meal. Emmanuel Frimpong, a former teammate, made the incredible allegation in 2018. Then there was Alex Song, who used to go to KFC before every home game. He told the Telegraph of the players' eating habits. He'd eat chicken nuggets on the bus to the team hotel the night before the game. Last but not least, number one, Rio Ferdinand. For X-Man United defender Ferdinand, a cheeky Nando's is his poison. He's even got himself a fancy Nando's high-five card, which allows the former England star-free grub for him and his pals. When I come down to London by train, I always stop in at the Nando's in Houston for a bite, he once tweeted. While on another visit, he wrote on social media, OMG, this Nando's is going to get destroyed. And back in 2019, Ferdinand and his wife Kate hired out a Nando's in Camberwell, South London for a Christmas feast with their friends. So did you find your favorite footballer here? If not, just know that he too must love fast food. Maybe he just couldn't make it into our top seven. What do you think? Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment box below. We hope you enjoyed watching the video. You can appreciate it by clicking the thumbs up button. And for more upcoming videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss updates about football stars like Cristiano, Messi, Neymar, and many more. Peace.